Uh, test, test. I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, doing great. Just great. Please, Potato Lord. Yes. Yes. Sky official, yo, you made it. Man, <laughs> it's probably, it's probably like the middle of the night or something where you are. Uh, 3.15 Hong Kong time. Yo, Ants Corp. Panama Games. It's gonna rain the whole day. Oh, okay. So that's like 13, 13 hours difference. 13 hours before me. I didn't go to the supermarket today. I was supposed to, but it didn't happen. So we got potatoes. I'm gonna have to fry some bacon. I got some back. Oh! Oh my god! Little birthday cat bought turkey bacon. Oh my god! <laughs> I've never, I've never had this, and it was so cheap, 40 Hong Kong dollars, but it's on sale, used by the 25th, that's like tomorrow, turkey bacon, oh my god, I've never had that before, that's what we got, this is what I'm going to be cooking. French fries? Yeah, you can get some French fries, man. That's alright. Today's the 25th. Oh! You're right, it is. It is. <laughs> Funkatunk! <laughs> I'm smelling something. I'm smelling something bad. I don't know. I just got up out of bed. I just had a nap. Scooter, hey. He didn't throw up in my bed. <laughs> comedy, comedy. Oh yeah, yeah, bacon. Jody a hug monster. Well, what do you know? 
there's oh no lettuce today. We're not having lettuce today. I got bacon. I got bacon and I got um potatoes. I just woke up though. I'm gonna need a few minutes to work out exactly where I am. If I'm gonna boil potatoes, I need a bigger pot. A pot like that. But I'm gonna need to cook the bacon first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook the bacon in bacon fat. And that works. I didn't make it to the shops, man. No. Nope. Took my girlfriend to work and then just came straight back home. I was hoping that um, these potatoes were gonna be okay, and they are. So I'm gonna have some potatoes, bacon, some cheese. That's what we're gonna be doing. I know, slacker. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Lost your secret stash? Oh my god! I know, I know you're joking, but you, but you, it's, it's very true. Oh my god, your secret stash! I also heard it was like super cold now in Florida. Extra bacon flavor. That's what it'll do. Yep, yep, yep. What have I been hearing about? Hmm. This this Florida podcast that I listen to. They they advertise a product which they swear by. Is, is it some company? Is it CBDX? But they, yeah, some, Del some Delta 8 stuff that they get. They live in Florida, they get it, and they say it's really good. Um, hi. Well, hello. It's the perfect night. Oh, it sounds good, man. Sounds like a good night. Florida nights. Hello. Well, hello, dope fishy. How's that, um, Google course? Whoa, it got down to 8 degrees. They weren't joking. Five days. Will you look at that? You're smashing through it? What exactly is it, Dope Fishy? I might have to have a look at it myself. Oh, you don't remember following me. It just popped up. Hmm. Five days ago. Um. What's, what streams do you watch? What IRL streams do you watch? 
Was I in someone's stream? Did I raid someone? Let me, uh, let me check my past videos. What was I doing five days ago? Okay, so I did do a stream. I did have a stream. Yo, traveler, what's going on, man? Hope you're well, dude. And traveler, congratulations. But my girlfriend told me you had a you had a baby a while ago. Congrats, man. Uh Ginny Redempto, nah, nah. Um, God. Mm. Oh, three months. That's amazing, dude. That's amazing. Oh, it's networking, building PCs, and software. Okay. Sounds like I might have a chance to do something that, like that. This is awkward. Who, how... So it wasn't, it's not 4am laundry, it's not clutchy, clutch live, um, who else, who else could it be? Keth? I don't, I doubt it. I haven't raided Keth or anything recently. Oh, what's the topic? Uh, um, someone in here who followed five days ago, they're not sure how uh, they're following me. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Nice to have you. Yeah, I wonder how. Ah, uh, Ray Dempto, I don't, they didn't do anything. <laughs> I should uh, start cooking the bacon. <laughs> BMW, hey. Uh, I don't play Apex, no. I, I never have played Apex. I play GTA. Recently I've been playing GTA. No Rocket League either, nope. I played, been playing GTA and a little bit of Daisy. Yeah, that's so strange. That's so strange how you're following me. <laughs> Casey Tron? <laughs> uh, wild thing? Nope. Nope, not familiar. Yeah, I've played Days Daisy, but um, I haven't played it recently. Ah, where's the tongs? Tongs! Ah! Throw stuff around. It's a double life. You wish you could cook on your own? You can cook on your own, dude. <laughs> Uh-oh. How is all this bacon going to fit in the pan? This is back bacon. Usually I'm cooking 
strips of streaky bacon. Yeah, let's not burn it. Making bacon. Yeah, Project Zomboid, yep, yep. I remember I remember that game like ages ago, but I know it's uh, become popular recently. I don't know if there's multiplayer now, people are RPing uh, Project Zomboid. Right, yeah, they added multiplayer. Yep, yep, that's the thing, yeah. Use P. Cat teasing me. Multiplayer servers and more animations and stuff. Ah. I might have to have a look uh, at someone playing that later. See what it's like. Garfield cart, no. Is that a thing? Or is this <laughs> Garfield cart is awesome? What the heck? I like Garfield and I like Mario Kart, so if it's a combo of the two, it sounds pretty good. I'm definitely going to have to look into that. Yeah, don't buy it full price. Okay, good tip. Good tip. If I don't play uh, Garfield Kart, not a real gamer. Alright, alright. Garfield cat? Garfield cat. Garfield cart. I gotta I gotta look that up. Is it on Steam? You're a real gamer, trust you? Alright, alright, I will trust you. I'm gonna look it up. Garfield cart. 30 It's like five US dollars. Don't pay full price, it's like five bucks. Dude, it came out in 2013. Garfield Cart, lasagna, lasagna bundle. Okay, what's this? Garfield Cart Furious Racing. All right, all right, all right, let me look, let me look. It's, uh, it's one dollar. How is it one dollar? This is amazing. What the? It's one dollar, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. I think I do need to buy it. One dollar? <laughs> I don't I don't know if I have a dollar on Steam. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait.
purchase for myself. Don't buy it. Yeah, yeah, my Steam inventory. Uh, it'll ruin my life. Is it that good? Fuck it. Yeah, Furious Racing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leisure suit, Larry. Shit. Wait a minute. Hey, dumb peel. I'm all right. I'm just trying to log into my uh, PayPal. Yeah, I'm concentrating, man. I'm concentrating. It's less than one US dollar. I agree to these terms and conditions. Garfield Car, Furious Racing. Less than one US dollar. Purchase. I loved Garfield as a kid. Big time. I got it, man. We got it. We have Garfield Cat. Cart, Garfield Cart. This is amazing. Wait. And now you have someone to play with. <laughs> yeah, you got the 2013, yep. Dude, less than one dollar. That's crazy. I have, I have Sonic transformed racing or something. I got the Sonic Mario Kart clone. I didn't even know about this. Yeah, yeah, his best friend, Odie the dog, and his nephew or whatever, Nermal. Kitty Pop Free Bubble Shooter is on the iPhone. You hate Mondays? Mondays aren't that bad, I don't think. Well, I got a new game, yay. You think Tuesdays could be worse? What? <laughs> His teddy bear Pookie, I remember. 
Man, I used to, I used to have like, I used to cut out of the newspaper, the Garfield comics, and I also had a bunch of the books, the Garfield books as well. I don't have any of them anymore after my parents threw all my shit away. <laughs> Bastards. Um, I don't feed my cat bacon, but one of them, if I don't watch the bacon, it steals my bacon. Yeah, if I don't keep my eye on the bacon, one of them will steal it. Guaranteed. Boil this kettle. Ah, uh, was that meal? Probably. Probably. She probably smelt the bacon because she's the one that steals the bacon. Yeah, she steals the bacon then eats it. Yep. Well, I've never managed to catch her doing it. I don't think. Maybe I seen her up here with her nose in it once before. But yeah, it steals the cooked bacon. I've even like put the the pan lid on a plate covering the bacon and I've come back and the lid's been knocked off and pieces of bacon stolen. Okay, we're um, we're having potatoes. Thanks for the uh, tip on Garfield Cart. Hope I hope you come back sometime. Steals the bacon, man. Yep. And she definitely shouldn't be eating bacon. Snooper Troops? Are the Atari game Snooper Troops? No, no. Never heard of it. I didn't have an Atari. Some friends had Atari, but I'd never heard of that game. And I don't remember that game on Commodore 64 either. I was supposed to take you grocery shopping, I know. I slacked out. I didn't do it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll go. Oh, nah, 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 nah. She doesn't stash it. She eats it. <laughs> That'd be the worst. That would be the worst. Plus, we have so many ants that if the if there was a bacon stash, the ants would have probably eaten it long ago. Got it from a work Christmas raffle, dude. That is amazing. That is amazing, dude. I, I remember in Hong Kong when I worked in this large office, uh, the Christmas raffle, I won it. And I got this uh, laser disc player back in the day. It was epic. But man, an Oculus 2. Damn! I was thinking about uh, an Oculus. I was thinking about seeing if I could get a, could, seeing if I could get an Oculus with the COVID uh, government COVID money. 
but I, I ended up getting something else. But I'm, I am super curious about that stuff. You speak from experience, dude. You, oh my god, that happened to you? Oh, there were more. Oh, they ended up selling for like 2k on carousel. That's like really cheap, right? Isn't that really cheap? 2k Hong Kong, right? 2k Hong Kong, right? Seven hundred bucks off. Yep, yep. Oh, okay, okay. So for under three grand, might be able to get one. All right. And how is it? What's it like? I've never tried any VR. Okay, Jody. Yeah, yeah. Go find a snack. We could go, you won two grand at the casino, and over five days you lost it. Like gamble, you gambled it away. At least you got a five days of entertainment. Okay, so there's a there's a hundred and twenty eight gig, and a sixty four gig. Virtual desktop, all the play all the Steam games. Right, right. That is interesting, dude. I had a, I had a feeling they were all, um, like five grand, five thousand Hong Kong. Um, and I also thought VR units were really difficult to get here for some reason, so I never really looked into it. Yeah, if you're prone to motion sickness, right, right. <laughs> Depends on the locomotion. But you know that Oculus does sound uh, pretty cool. So I guess they all have like a controller nowadays. Hitman Three makes you feel kind of sick. Yep, yep. Yeah, I probably would only play stuff intended for VR. Because, yeah, I probably would feel sick. <laughs> it does seem like fun, though. Wow, you can set it up to use your hands as a controller. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I um I I logged on to your stream that last time and I, you were just right at the end of playing VR chat. <sighs> yeah, just fucking around. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, it seems, seems definitely interesting. And so with the, I assume with, with the Oculus that you have, it has a, everything's built in, right? I guess everything's built in. You don't have to con connect it to a PC or yeah it 
It's all Wi-Fi and PC software. Yep, yep. Cool, cool. What did you say it's called? Oculus 2... Oculus Quest 2. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks. I might uh, have a look at those. Not that I can buy one at the moment because I just spent all the government dollars, but as a future reference. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Seven small potatoes. Hopefully that'll be enough food. Should be okay. The Quest 3 uh, is coming out 2023. <laughs> Porn stuff? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm just ima I'm just imagining getting busted getting busted with your pants down watching porn with a VR headset on <laughs> Oh my god oh god <laughs> Oh god that's fucked up <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man, why am I so stupid? Imagining like how, imagine the girlfriend's response. <laughs> um, what am I doing here? Let's get the potatoes uh, boiling. Get it, man. I can imagine. I haven't played RuneScape for a little while, but uh, I will definitely be checking it out again at some point. I should have logged on over Christmas to see if there was any uh, Christmas events I could have done. Scooter can't use his, uh, hands. Oh yeah, that's right, Dope Fishy did tell me about the party hats, the Christmas party hats. 
And let me check out this GIF. <laughs> yeah, girlfriend probably wouldn't be too impressed getting VR. Yep, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, he's using eye control, yep. did, huh? The Xbox came out with a bunch of different options for people with disabilities, huh? That's good. Dude, RuneScape is amazing. Guy plays Dota with his mouth and chin. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen a guy on Twitch doing something like that, I think. Brain to robotic body part control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, there's, there's probably something like that in testing, right? Because they can, they can, um, ages ago, they were able to, like, move a cursor depending on brain waves or something. So, if you could do it to move a cursor, you could probably do it to trigger a movement as well. Hey, thanks for hosting. Thanks for hosting. There you go. Yeah, ALS for 20 years. Man, Scooter. You're a champ, dude. You're a champ. Um, they're my girlfriend's Cheerios. I, and I thought, I didn't know Cheerios were Nestles, or Nestle. Uh, Cheerios Oat? I don't know if they're honey. Dude, 10 Hong Kong dollars? That's so cheap. That's like a buck 20 or something. Nah, no, no honey. Uncle Toby's, yeah, yeah, right, right. 715, yo. The highways of Nevada, what's up, Zero? Wow. The highways of Nevada, damn. Is that, is that what they call the, the High Nevada Plains? Did I just make that up or is that a thing? <laughs> Sounds made up. I know I gotta Google it. The High Nevada Plains. The High Plains Desert? It is! The High Plains of Nevada! I only know that 
from listening to Art Bell, Coast to Coast AM, back in the day, long, long ago. Long ago. Pahrump, Nevada. That's where Art Bell used to live and broadcast from. Art Bell was amazing, dude. So good. This is way, yeah, this is way before podcasts and stuff, right? Man, that radio, that radio show was so good back in the day. Uh, that those were, those were some really fun times. Playing RuneScape, listening to Art Bell. Um, what's Elon Musk? Yeah, Neuralink. Yeah, yeah, Neuralink. Yep. Uh, when did he start? Long ago. Long time ago. How many companies does Elon Musk have? A lot. <laughs> Too many. Oh, I should have, um, cut the potatoes in half at least. Eh, never mind. They'll just take a little bit longer to cook, I guess, like this, but that's okay. Freaking Elon Musk. than Steve Jobs has. Hmm. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> Is he helping them? What the heck? Oh yeah, fried, oh, with sour cream. Sounds good, man, sounds real good. John Peel, uh, it sounds familiar. Oh, 10B3, hey, hey, what's up? An English disc jockey. John Peel veteran DJ discovered dozens of major bands during broadcasting career spanning 40 years. Died after suffering a heart attack at 65. Shit. He had discovered Pulp, The Smiths, the undertones, the white stripes. Yo, Piaco, what's up, man? Thanks for coming by. I was live. I am live.
John Peel got me pregnant when I was 15. The Daily Mail. Oh, you're getting the booster this Friday? Good luck, man. Good luck. Girlfriend got the booster last week. Thursday, maybe last week. Yeah, loads of bands which recorded with Peel. Yep, yep. Have I gotten my vaccine slash booster? No. Nah, she was she was okay. She thinks it may have um, it may have flared up some uh, eczema. Maybe she thinks. But other than that, I think she was all right. She may have had a little bit of a sore arm. But no fever, no flu symptoms. She had no reaction to the first two either. Apparently the vaccine can cure warts. Yeah, see, the dry weather might be the eczema. It might not be related. I don't know if the vaccine cures warts, Dope Fishy. I don't know about that. She was curious about, um, yeah, I, I can say, I don't know if she had, didn't have any effect, but she did read it, it had messed up some girls, uh, menstrual cycles, the vaccine, and she was worried about that, but I, I think it didn't affect her. You felt shitty after the second shot. Nothing substantial. I haven't had any shots, dude. I haven't had any. Forty-seven Fahrenheit, right there, dude. That's like, isn't that like nearly freezing? Coast to Coast AM is still going, yeah. I, I wonder if George Nori is uh, still doing it. Because George Nori um, is involved with this other guy, Shane, someone or other. They've been on the Rogan podcast before. Any reason? Yeah, there's reasons. Because, because of my leg, I am... Because of the issues with my leg, I am am worried about blood clots. You, you got a 17 inch Alienware laptop with a 3070? Oh my god. Oh my god, man. That sounds so good. 17 inch, 3070, Alienware. Sounds really good. Yeah, treat yourself. Enjoy it. <laughs> My lizard people biology. I got the Hep B vaccine, but I didn't get the COVID vaccine. But I did get the Hep B vaccine a few years ago. Wait, wait, don't, no, 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 it's not a Tanga, I swear, I swear. You got pneumonia vax last year, yep. Ten 
Tengas are great. <laughs> Tenga, Oculus <laughs> Quest 2, can't go wrong. <laughs> Food Panda delivers Tengas. It's the only reason you go to Don Don Donkey. Yep, yep. <laughs> I haven't been yet. I haven't been yet. Panda Mart. I don't. I've never had food panda delivery, and I don't know what Panda Mart is. Oh. Oh, Tango recycling. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Dope fishy and traveler may know of this. Oh, it's an online supermarket that Food Panda runs. You got Food Panda Pro since it seems to have more places. I gotta, I gotta look that up later. I gotta look that up. But yeah, 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 Dope Fishy and Traveller may have heard of this. But in Chi in some village in China, apparently wells, water wells, might be like a common thing, right? In some villages. And someone, someone scooped something out of the water well. They thought it was like some sort of mushroom uh, fungus type thing. Yeah, they thought it was a mushroom. It ended up being the inside of a tenga. It was the inside, it was the rubbery soft inside of a tenga. Yes, they thought it was a mushroom and it was scooped out of a water well. What the heck, dude? What the heck? Someone threw their stanky used <laughs> Tenga into a water. <laughs> it's like a flashlight. Tenga's like Japanese flashlight. Dude. <laughs> Food Panda deliver water, World of Warcraft. <laughs> Yeah, dude, isn't that sh is that that's so shocking, dude? You have a Tenga guide as your channel intro. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, I got a, I got a story. It's not it's not really much of a story, but I remember this is in my more innocent days. I remember going into a lingerie store opposite Times Square, right? Went into a lingerie store opposite Times Square to buy some lingerie. Not for me, obviously. And on the wall in the lingerie store, they had all these cups with all anime, uh, anime graphics on the cups. And I was like looking at them thinking, yo, these are cool. Anime drinking cups. They weren't anime drinking cups. I, I didn't buy one. I didn't buy them. But I found out after they weren't drinking cups. They were, they were, yeah, some type of flashlight. <laughs> I don't know what the people in the shop would have been thinking. I'm like looking at all these yeah, anime cups. I know, I know. <laughs> if I know if I would have cuz I had not I don't even 
I don't even if I knew what a flashlight was at this point. Flashlights might not have even been a thing. Yeah, I would have had a bit of a surprise if I bought one, took it home and opened it and been like, what the heck is this? It's all about the auto blow. Jesus. Jesus. Auto blow 5000. Just another cheese in Guilo. That's what they would have been thinking. The Robo Puss. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not looking this stuff up. I'm not looking this stuff up. Later, later. Do they do they deliver in discreet uh, packaging? <laughs> A guy on Bet Bit Shoot does reviews. Oh my god! Can I look it up so you don't have to? Okay, okay. I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know if I'll be able to show it. Oh, you got a tenga in the drawer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his name. Yep, yep. <laughs> What do I look up? Robo Puss or Auto Blow? I um I apologize to anyone that might be offended. But hey, I'm just a guy. I'm just a dude, man. What the heck? I can't wait to eat that Robo Puss. <laughs> Hidden channels, damn. Oh, my God, a sound cloud. Why did that? Why did it take me to sound cloud? Someone made a song about it. Yeah, I don't think this stuff was available 20 years ago. I, I apologize. SoundCloud. Stream Robot Puss by Small Titty Influencer. I apologize. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sex and getting off has come a long way, dude. Is that a is that good or a bad thing though? Okay, let this this is stuff that needs to be looked up uh, after the stream. They removed over 75 hidden channels? Whoa! I didn't even know... I don't even know they had, um... Hidden channels on Roku. Is it a good thing or a bad thing people are making less babies? Probably a good thing, right? Luckily you don't have that problem, yes. Let let it be known, Traveller is very fertile. Ah, your Cody stopped working. Right, right. Paramount Plus. <laughs> Unfortunately, very fertile.
You almost went to school to be a sex therapist after a class I took in college. My professor was obsessed with sex in space. Oh my god, and did all these presentations about it. Oh my god. I don't take this the wrong way, Jody, but I could see you being a sex therapist just because of the sex I've ne I've never seen a sex therapist personally but on TV and stuff the TV shows that have sex therapists they're always like people with really bubbly personalities and that reminds me of Jody Oh your brother had a daughter well, last week congrats to him People were telling you smoking menthols kills sperms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's interesting. Can't Cody stopped working, so you got Paramount Plus. I wonder. I wonder what's on Paramount Plus. I'm looking it up right now. I know Peacock, that and Peacock and the NBC, because uh... <clears throat> dude, like, with, now that these, oh god, my potatoes are done, now that um, all these uh, subscription services, it's got it. I feel like it would add up to a fair, a fairly hefty price each month. Like if someone was to have Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney, Paramount, HBO, that monthly bill is gonna be pretty hefty. Maybe I'm just a broke ass. But yeah, if, imagine like subbing to all of that. That's going to be a fair bit each month. Just on TV subscriptions. Yeah, I guess, I guess they're kind of desperate for content. So they're buying these... Um, Buying these series. Oh, you keep forgetting to cancel Netflix. I have Netflix and Amazon Prime, but I mainly have Netflix just so my dad can uh, has something to watch. I started watching the latest season of Ozark. Who would sub to all that? I don't know. Isn't isn't that a common thing? That people might be subbed to so many subscriptions. Yes, yeah, Traveller, that's what I do mostly. Peacock TV, yep. I, I actually signed up to Peacock TV to try to watch some of the Olympics, but it ended up not working or being too difficult. I signed up, but I don't know if it wanted me to have a paid subscription to watch the Olympics. But I, I ended up watching it for free through another website. But yeah, I do hear people talking about Peacock more often now. Ah, uh, that's, that's pretty sweet, uh, Spectator. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I got, I have, uh, Active Prime, um, 
Oh, plus you get the, you link it with Twitch, you get the free games and game offers as well. A lot of Amazon stuff delivers for free in Hong Kong. Are you, really? Dude, nothing, everything I look at on Amazon doesn't ship to Hong Kong. Or it says, it says ships to Hong Kong, and then when I go to the order page or whatever, it doesn't ship. Some products. Oh, Amazon.co.jp ships to Hong Kong. My girlfriend or does order stuff on Amazon sometimes, but it's um she has some like US postal service thing that collects it then ships it here. I <laughs> order a bunch of Japanese curry, dude. Yeah, I heard over 50 US is free shipping as well. All right, spectator. Thanks, man. Four dollars Australian for Prime. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I pay five ninety nine US here for Prime. Yeah, I saw you uh, post those coffee in um, Discord. I don't, I don't understand those refills though. Is it just to refill into the jar, so you're not buying the jar again? Yeah, refill into the jar. Okay, okay. It, I don't know. It might not be worth it sending them. It might be cheaper just buying the jar here. I don't know. But yeah, the jar, there's two sizes. There is two sizes. This is the <clears throat> this is the big size, 120 gram, I guess. This is the large size, and this is like 85 Hong Kong dollars, 82 to 85 Hong Kong dollars, depending on um, yeah, depending if it's on sale. But yeah, 120 gram. You, you think we'll get the refills here soon? I don't know, man. I've never, ever seen it. There's four other versions. Okay. Because, yeah, I, I have the decaf. I get the decaf as well, in case I want a coffee at night. The decaf is smaller, but... Probably the same price as the other one. Oh, it costs like 800 in Japan. Yeah, then you got to ship it over. It's probably similar-ish. Okay, so refills like half the price. Wow. Wow. Yo, is that a potato peel? I'm going to put some milk in my mashed potatoes. little bit of milk or a lot of milk <clears throat> yeah they add weight to the transport true very true oh man yeah 
I wonder if uh, supermarkets in the city will have that. Like city super and stuff. I might have to check one day. I think I put in too much milk, guys. <laughs> We're gonna have mashed potato soup. Mashed potato milk soup. <laughs> Thanks, spectator. You know, I, I made a Japanese curry on stream. I... I, I had a mix of Indian and Japanese curry, and it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, they need to change the packaging. Cheese. We need more cheese than that. We need more. We like it extra cheesy. Okay, that's a lot of cheese. Too much cheese. Uh oh. Uh oh. Too much cheese. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit runny at the moment, but it's going to be just fine. It's going to be fine. Let's add butter. I, I haven't uh, added butter to my potatoes for quite a while. Let's do it now. Not too much. Ah, the butter. It flicked off out. I got it, I got it. Wow, wow, they burn. New York, Tokyo, burn everything in energy generation facilities. Strong filters to capture the nasties. I haven't heard of that. Never heard of that. Wow. Melt butter, melt. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's landfills, yeah. It's like puree. Potato puree. step we're up to. Add bacon. <laughs> it's like a soup. Unintentionally, yes.
I said I gotta start eating healthy. Let's start tomorrow. I don't know how healthy this is. <laughs> Yeah, bacon in the mash. That should be enough. Three pieces should be plenty. I'll save the rest of the bacon for a sandwich tomorrow or something. Adding cheese makes it healthy. That's the science. All right, I'll trust you on that. Dr. Jody. This is, this is crazy. Yo, what sort of food is this? What sort of grown man? Grown man makes this sort of food for dinner, please. God. I'm trying to bulk. Oh yeah, that does sound good. Little studio, a nice little studio apartment in Seattle. Sitting down with some nice mashed potatoes. This, this is weird. I feel weird. I feel very weird right now. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this. This feels like something I need to eat in private. So cheesy. This is. Dude, what is my life? What is my life? It looks like porridge. <laughs> Who's brood? <laughs> hey, man. Mashed potatoes. Gravy. Hmm. I I may have put in too much cheese.
That's what I thought as well. It might be a, a little bit salty. I think it was Crystal Farms, Crystal Farms White Sharp Cheddar. I think that's what I put in there. Yeah, I should save half of it. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Let me do that. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'll put some uh, cling wrap over that later. Excuse me. Don't let the witch steal it all. There's no witches here. As far as I know. Oh. They're little birthday cats Cheerios. I don't know. I've never had it before. Just Cheerios, oat. She hasn't opened it yet. I've never had Cheerios myself. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I will do something with the leftover for sure. Actually, I think I did some fritters last time. And they, yeah, they turned out good. I made like four or five fritters in the fry pan with the leftover mashed potatoes. Two boxes of Cliff Bars expired 2020. I'd eat them. I'd eat them. That stuff lasts forever, right? Cereal helps you practice abstinence. Yeah, Mexican, honestly, Mexican isn't my favorite, I don't think. Mmm, very serious. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, the original birth control. Yeah. 
full of sugar. Yeah, this year I plan to start eating healthier. Oh, they still have cereal that has toys in there? That was so fun. I remember at one point the toys were actually inside the bag with the cereal. So, you know, sometimes it'd be outside. It'd be in the box outside of the plastic bag, the toy would be. But sometimes the toy would be actually in with the cereal. And I remember I wasn't allowed to, like, hunt through the cereal to get the toy. I had to wait until it came out. Yep, you had to eat the whole, the whole bag to get the toy, yep. Yeah, my parents, well, my mum never let me uh, scoop it out, try to find it. Dude, cereal is so expensive now. It is like a rich man's food, for sure. I just spoiled the plot to Stranger Things Season 4. Really? Dude, but... Off-brand? Off-brand? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess, you know, there's a chance the off-brand is going to be okay, but there's also a chance it's going to be terrible, right? Yeah, I don't make mashed potatoes off them at all. I usually make baked potatoes, but um, they didn't have any baking potatoes, so I had to buy these spuds. Yeah, I wonder, Traveller, I wonder, because there is a, a US food shop just down down the road here. I've never been inside though. I might have to take a look. And yeah, they have, from what I've heard, they have like the big packets of stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Needed popcorn, chicken and corn to make a famous bowl, like with mashed potatoes. That would be good. Yeah, the sausage in the jars, I may have had my last hot dog in a jar. I think my hot dog days are gone. Yeah, worth checking out what the prices are like. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a thing I need to do. I should go just to get some A&W Vanilla Root Beer. Actually, I think my girlfriend did buy a can, some weird can of, a weird large can of some fruity soft drink thing. It was alright, but extremely sugary. Cereal is super expensive and good. The 
Cereal's the most common couponed item. Mm, yeah, shop smart. Use coupons, use their offers. Yo, what if I did make some sort of shepherd's pie with this leftover mash? <coughs> yeah, I don't think you can get that. There's no coupons here, I don't think. <coughs> here at the supermarket, it varies from week to week or month to month. But if you pay with credit card, if you pay for your groceries with credit card, depending which bank has the offer, you can get like a nearly $20 US coupon off your next time at the supermarket. They have that sort of stuff here. I have done that a couple of times. Well, that wasn't that much food. But uh, it'll eating all of that would have been too much. It's I think the cheese made it a little bit salty. It's edible, but yeah, I will save the rest of this mashed potato for next time. <laughs> Jody, <laughs> classic, classic. Yeah, from what I've seen on some uh, reality shows, US reality shows, coupons are a big thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. I think I rem <laughs> I think I remember watching Honey Boo Boo and them being like full on couponers. Was that Honey Boo Boo, where they used to use coupons all the time? I think so. Why, why was I even watching that show? Okay, two pieces of back bacon left over. We got some mashed potatoes left over. We're going to have some uh, food tomorrow. You never watched Honey Boo Boo? That's fair. That's fair. Dude, why? I can't believe I used to watch that show. I think I've seen like a few seasons of Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> God. That's right. That's right. I remember now. <laughs> I remember, like, they fell into obscurity. Did they? I think, do they still have a show? I don't even know. But I remember watching it and being like, oh, these people are really poor. They still, their house and stuff is way bigger than where I live. And they're like super, super poor. And they still have a way bigger place than me. It's like, what am I doing? What am I doing living in this expensive city? I could go live next door to Honey Boo Boo for a fraction of the price.
You know what little birthday cat bought? Butter loaf. This stuff is, this bread is so good. I don't even know if it's sliced. It's not even pre-sliced. This stuff is so damn good. Yeah, butter loaf. She she bought a heap of bread. She also bought I don't know if this bread has like fruity bits in it. But this is this is little birthday cat's food. Why slice it? Just eat the whole thing? Maybe that's her plan. I think this is her um breakfast food for days she has to work. Loaf challenge. That sounds like it's a thing. That sounds like a thing. How, how much does this weigh? I was going to say, this is like butter and milk. It's like fairly lightweight and fluffy. I was going to say you'd probably be able to stick the whole thing in your mouth, but... Maybe not. Maybe not. It is delish. It is sliced and toasted. Mm. Not yet, traveler. Not yet. I went to the local appliance store. Sold out. I was gonna buy some appliances with my government COVID bucks, but I bought something else. I ended up buying something else. But I do plan to get a toasty machine. Oh my God, I know Lettuce Club, Jody. I know. Oh, there needs to be, there's probably a loaf club, you think, as well? I think so. You've got a spare one? Nice, <laughs> nice. I used to have one here years ago, but I think I I, th I ended up getting rid of it. I think I um it got so dirty and filthy. I was like, ah oh, man, this is way too hard to clean, and I just chucked it. I can't barbecuing. I'm not. I'm not into. It disturbs the neighbors. But now the dude above me is gone. Now the guy above me has left. Maybe I will barbecue. Maybe I could. Yeah, my neighbor next door was barbecuing until I asked them to move the barbecue away from the fence. They haven't barbecued since pretty much. Find some wacky backy. Ah, uh, yeah, there's they. There used to be before COVID. I don't know if they're still here, but yeah, there were places that had pre-marinated stuff. I think there was one shop called Cowboy BBQ or something. Oh, negative 57 Celsius? Gee, none of it. No thanks, man. No thanks. Oh, yeah. I think I'm done with this, with the jarred hot dogs. I'm done with hot dogs, eh? Crusader King, what's up? Spectator sport. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So the day, the day that my leg fucked up and my lymph 
node started swelling and my ankle and shit was all fucked up. I realize now it was it was something called cellulitis, I think. On my ankle and it had it had gone and swollen my lymph node and that's when I had to go to hospital with like 40 degree fever. That's that's when it's around that time when my tinnitus uh, started. Um, and yeah, that day I had hot dogs. That day I had hot dogs before I got sick and it's put me off the hot dogs for life. Yeah, cellulitis. It's not, it's not cellulite. Um, what caused it? What caused it was I was lying on my bed. So I was already suffering from swollen ankles because of uh, busted veins in my leg. And Tom Tom had jumped off the top rope, landed on my ankle, and may have scratched my ankle a little bit. And that's how I think the cellulitis happened. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, when I went to the hospital, I don't think they diagnosed my cellulitis in my ankle. Because looking it up, they were supposed to have um, prescribed me antibiotics. And they didn't. They just gave me a, a hefty shot of ibuprofen. And it wasn't until later when I was going to get my uh, veins checked on my leg. And I showed the doctor the photos of my ankle. She's like, oh yeah, that's cellulitis. So yeah, yeah, that, that's all a thing. Scatch, scratch, crack fever. Yeah, cat scratch, cat fever. Cat scratch fever. Yes, I have heard of that. Um. Yeah. So the cellulitis. It actually the whole thing. It probably it lasted a good few weeks. Um. But yeah, they should have given me antibiotics, and they didn't. So it probably dragged on a little longer than it should have. It was awful, dude. It was awful. Like, I was having weird hallucination dream things in my bed that night. It was really bad. High fever. Yeah, it was shocking. Hey, what are we talking about, Kiara Kitty? Kiara Kitty's new swellings. Ah, uh, yeah, so, um, my leg. I could have probably had surgery by now, but there's six stages. What's, what do I have? Venous insufficiency. Venous insufficiency. It's like a broken valves and varicose vein in my leg. There's like six levels of severity. The first three levels, surgery isn't absolutely necessary, I think. The last three levels require surgery. I'm on like level three, I think she said, where surgery is was an option, but not absolutely necessary. Uh, so at that appointment, which was in November, maybe, 
Uh, I could have booked a surgery date, but I decided to just uh, book another checkup for July. So I got another checkup in July. I did ask, is it possible like the level that I have will get worse? She said it doesn't usually get worse. But she did say surgery isn't a 100% guarantee of fixing the problem totally. Yeah, I could have booked the surgery, but I'd been in hospital and been to the doctors so much, I didn't really want to have to go through any of that stuff again. And uh, it this, the, the procedure would require anesthesia, and I don't really want to get put under again. There is an option for like, um, there is an option for, uh, what do they call it? It's like something they inject and then the bottom half, uh, goes numb. So when the time does come, I got the option of full anesthesia being knocked out or just that lower body anesthesia thing. But they said I... I can't do it with just like a numbing injection near the site. It's got to be total lower body. But yeah, I've put all that off till Jan July, my next appointment. Yeah, I got emotes. I got a bunch of emotes now. Twitch gave me five follower emotes, which I was pretty stoked with getting. Man, I wish I had money to spare now to buy Bitcoin. Or a day or two ago anyway. Two scoops of macaroni salad, four strips of bacon, two whole wheat dinner rolls with butter. Th that sounds alright. That actually sounds pretty good, Jody. Sounds like a nice light dinner. the metaverse hi Tom Tom hi Tom Tom yeah I wish I had some extra cash to buy Bitcoin right now because it seems like the good a good time to buy it not that I want to withdraw the Bitcoin anytime soon The way I see it, this tiny amount of crypto that I have, let's see what it's like. Let's see what it's uh, turned into in five years. Crypto land? Nah. Yeah, every week in small quantities. I was listening to an MMA podcast and there was a guy on there saying how he just buys a small amount every week. Exactly what Spectator had been saying all this time. A lot of people don't want a family due to global warming, among other things. Yep, yep. Overpopulation, global warming, COVID, fucking, you name it. Living on a small island with a bunch of crypto bros, that sounds terrible. Ah, because, yeah, people were going on about the, uh, you, 
the 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 Bitcoin blockchain uses more power than all of Norway. You know, you hear people talking about that sort of stuff recently. YouTube, yep. 70% less electricity than the entire global banking system. Yep. Yep. Get in it. You got to be in it for the long haul. Right, ooze brood, right. Did Bitcoin make it back to 40 now, at least? I, I didn't even touch you. Dude, it wasn't, didn't it drop to like 34 the other day? It's 36 now. Wow, it's still so low. Whoa, whoa, Piaco. Damn. They steal your money and then give you a non-tradable bank stock. Yeah, go Dogecoin. Go Doge. Let's go. Come on, Doge. Get back up there. 36k yeah it's if you, if anyone has been curious and interested in bitcoin now is the time to buy <sighs> i would imagine now's the time to buy this is not financial advice dude yeah that's crazy that is crazy uh Imagine that. Yeah, the economy's still messed up over there. Yeah, I believe it. Man. Man. Dude. Lucky, lucky to be living where... The... I haven't even... I didn't even touch you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you getting so angry? I didn't do, I didn't do nothing. Here. Wet food. Wet food. Go for it. Picard starts March 3rd. <laughs> I started watching Ozark. Picard is... Picard, I'm like, eh, whatever. I'll watch it at some point. I'm looking forward to Raised by Wolves, though. That I am looking forward to. I went to the skate park. It's closed. Due to COVID 
reopens February 4th at the moment. But I did go to the skate shop and spend my COVID bucks. Yeah. I have no idea who Simon Bannerrod is, but I like this shape. This was the best shape they had. And the graphic was kind of cool. But yeah, so I got a new deck. I got trucks, wheels, everything. Grip. Just need to put it together. But yeah, February 4th, Skate Park still opens. I got this from Skate City, Mong Kok. Sai Yang Choi Street South. Good Hope Building. Mong Kok. Decathlon. I don't know if I'd get one from there. Yeah, you will see me ride this. When the skate park opens. 700 bucks. I got... Pro, I got all pro level stuff. It cost me two thousand bucks. But I think, um, I think, I think if I want it, if the deck, the board alone, I think is seven eighty. I don't know if you can see that, but for one two eight zero, oh, I think you get the deck with some cheaper trucks and wheels. Uh, I have black grip tape. I have black grip tape. And it is a girl skateboard, yes. But that's what we got. So February 4th. At the moment is when the skate park's due back open. Yeah, I don't even know. Dude, I don't know if I can ollie. I haven't skated a regular skateboard for like 25 years. <laughs> what lady boy. But yeah, I looked at the skate park. It was closed, but I could see it from a distance. And it looked pretty nice. I think I will be able to just start off rolling around and hopefully uh, advance back up to maybe where I was in my younger days. I know, dude. I know. They fucking... They close in the skate park, other government parks, outdoor areas. Ah. Uh, I didn't see Suspenders had started streaming, no. I, I've only seen, honestly, I've only seen a couple of minutes of him. I, I, I could never hard flip. I never even started to learn hard flip. But yeah, I realize I'm much older. I'm 25 years older. So I'm going to be taking it grandpa style. I don't... I, f I forgot to buy wrist guards. I was meant to buy wrist guards. I totally forgot. But I did order some wrist guards off AliExpress. I do have a helmet from before. Um... I've never worn a helmet um, skateboarding other than when I was skating on my longboard. Not sure if I'll be wearing a helmet or not. <laughs> Tape chunks of wood to my wrist. <laughs> now, hopefully, uh, hopefully my wrist guards will be here before February the 4th. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear um, wrist guards just in case. But other than that, it should be okay. 
I, I'm just going to be rolling around very mellow. Yeah, we could assemble the skateboard on stream, yep. Not today, though. We'll uh, do it earlier in the day outside. Yeah, when I was riding the longboard, and like, I came off riding the longboard, but it was just like pushing from a standstill, caught on a grate, fell over, and yeah, I fucked up my wrist for like six months or more. So yeah, wrist guards is a thing. Wrist guards should be a thing. 2022 skateboards need RGB. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before the park opens, I need to practice balancing on it. I know, going down the hills at high speed, no problem. But pushing from a standstill is where I fuck myself up. Yeah, man. Falling on your wrist nowadays, it's not the same as when I was 20. Yeah, the wrist. The rest of my body I'm not too fussed about. Like, I'm not going to be doing anything out of my uh, comfort zone. Dude, yeah, falling becomes a big event. It does. It does. I remember uh, practicing little uh, rolling wheelies on my uh, BMX and flipping off the back and landing on my butt. And just wanting to lay there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, your knee's a mess from skating and metal detecting. Right, right. Yeah, on your knees, metal detecting, digging up the dirt. Ooh, you took a bad spill snowboarding. Damn. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But yeah, my, uh, I have, you know, like I've said, I've been suffering from like swollen ankles and stuff. Let's see how I go. But I, the main reason I need to do some sort of exercise. I need to do some sort of exercise, but everything is just too boring. Walking too boring. Running, too boring. Riding a bike, too boring. Riding a longboard is fun, but I love the downhill too much. And high speed downhill is going to end up bad one day. So I thought, let's just get a normal skateboard and just do some mellow carving in the bowl at the park. Hopefully, uh my fitness levels will uh, get a bit better. But that's the main reason, fitness. Skating once in Queen Anne in Seattle, you really ate it, but you're like 150 pound, it worked out. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And yeah, most skaters are very light, small and light. Uh, you wouldn't see a six foot six dude riding a skateboard too often, I wouldn't imagine. Oh, yeah, right. Beat Saber in VR. Dude, that's what I'm thinking as well, Traveler. I'm heavy now. I'm much more heavier now than when I used to skate. Let me weigh myself. Let me check. Dude, I should have lost some weight. I should have lost weight. Damn. Nine 
95.6 kilogram. Shit, that is heavy. That is heavy, dude. Fuck, man, I'm s I've been eating so much less. Ninety. What did I say? Ninety-five point six kg to pounds. Oh, 210 pounds? No. No, dude, no. Oh my God, I think I've put on weight. I have barely been eating. I think I've put on weight. Hey, I gotta weigh myself again, dude. No freaking way, dude. No way. Holy shit, 95.7, I've gone up. <laughs> 210 pound, man, fuck. Fuck, dude. Dude, I think when I was skating last, I was like 175 pound or something. That's like, fuck, that's like 40 pounds heavier. Dude, 210 pounds on a little skateboard? I hope I don't break it. Fuck. Oh, right, Piaco, right. I've heard lots of medications can have that effect. Yeah, I've heard that. It's not a girl's skateboard. It's not a girl's skateboard. <laughs> I'm six foot six. Yeah, 330. Damn, 210 pound. That... Man, what did I weigh a month ago? If I'm 210 now, I've been eating so little. I've been eating like one little meal a day. Yeah, yeah, Velux fire, yeah. Just got to be careful. I got to make sure my legs are working so I can run out of coming off the board. Or I got to remember how to roll. Seventy nine kilo. Dude, I'm shocked. I'm so shocked at how heavy I am. <sighs> I, um, I got new pairs of jeans a year ago. A year ago, perhaps. Two years ago, I got new, like a bunch of new pa new pairs of jeans. I tried them on the other day. I couldn't even get them up to my butt. Uh. Fuck, man. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah, exercise, man. We all need it. Yeah, these last two years is the least... The, the least um, exercise I've ever had in my life. These last two years... I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. <laughs> you also get tons of deliveries. You gained like 5 to 10 after your kid was born? 
Ah, uh, just from being at home all the time. Right, right. That's that's understandable. Oh man, getting older, guys. Why does it have to happen? Why does it have to happen? I did hear a good thing the other day, though. I may be older now, but I'm younger than what I'll be in the future now. You're younger now than what you'll be in the future. Just remember that. I gotta take action. Now. Not in the future. Pills which stop aging. They, I think they've made a lot of breakthroughs in regards to that kind of thing. I think they've made a bunch of uh, breakthroughs like that. Hopefully it'll be out when we're still around, Dope Fishy. Just got to get healthy now. Dude, I can't believe I'm 210 pound, dude. That's heavier than John Jones when he was fighting in the light heavyweight division. Jesus. <laughs> I'm 185, I like skateboarding and weed. Give Facebook all your data so you can live in the metaverse. That's a plan. Oh, a picture from 2015. Let me check that out quickly. Wow, dude. Wow. You look like a young J.K. Simmons. Holy shit, Piaco. Holy shit. Wow, Piaco, 2015, not that long ago, really, is it? I mean, I guess it's seven years ago now. Damn. Let's all go back to 2014-15. Yes, please. Please. SC? SC? Sacramento? Nah, nah. <laughs> South Carolina. You don't have kids to look after? Dude, I mean, look at me. I can't even look after myself. I don't know if that's an excuse, but man. I don't know if I could handle it either. But I guess everybody... Yeah, tr see, Traveller just had a kid three months ago. Everyone might feel that way. How am I supposed to look after a kid? <sighs> You just let your girlfriend do all the work. <laughs> uh, brilliant. I know I have a hard enough time with my cats. Hi, Mitten. Bye, Tom Tom. Hi, Mitten, Mitten. Do you want some food? There's some food. There's wet food. You want to go back to 2001? That's exactly where I want to go to as well, Scooter.
Let's all meet up back in 2001, man. Before November. Before November. Before the world changed in November 2001. I hope she didn't say that really dope fishy. I hope you're joking. Oh yeah, September. Whoops, whoops, September. <laughs> I was getting the 9 and 11 mixed up. Uh, you, you never could ride a skateboard. You bought your son a skateboard when he was young. It's now an antique. It's a yellow WWF wrestling one before they changed it up.